Welcome to section six of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Bacillus cereus, which you can see right here. This scene will take place in a rice field with a nice big bowl of rice cooking over the fire pit. Bowl of rice sounds like Bacillus cereus, and reheating rice is commonly associated with the disease, so this will be our symbol for Bacillus cereus. Next, notice that we've added this guy with a purple shirt to the scene. The purple color here is to help you remember that Bacillus cereus is a gram-positive organism. We've also shown this guy holding a walking stick shaped like a rod to help you remember that Bacillus cereus is rod-shaped, or bacilli-shaped. This is a gram stain of Bacillus cereus. Notice that the organism appears purple, hence the gram-positive classification, and also notice that it's rod-shaped, so it's a gram-positive bacillus. Now we've added this guy over the fire pit, and he's pouring hemp seeds into the rice to make it extra flavorful. Just like in some of our other videos, we've included seeds in this image to help you remember that Bacillus cereus is a spore-forming organism. Seeds have a hard outer coat, just like spores have a sturdy protective covering, making them highly resistant to chemicals and temperature. So hemp seeds for spore forming. We've shown him pouring the seeds in the rice that is being cooked to help you remember that the spores can withstand being cooked in rice. This is why if rice is kept warm after it's been cooked, the spores can germinate and cause infection. This idea is also why the disease is sometimes referred to as reheated rice syndrome. We've also shown this green toxic looking smoke rising from the pot to help you remember that as the spores germinate, they produce an enterotoxin. So green toxic smoke for enterotoxin formation. There are two types of food poisoning caused by Bacillus cereus, the emetic type and the diarrheal type. Let's talk about the emetic type first. If you look closely at this guy's shirt, you can see that he's wearing an EMT badge. The letters EMT are in the word emetic, so this should help you remember that this guy represents the emetic type. We've also shown him eating rice because the emetic type is associated with rice and pasta. Also, rice cereal sounds like cerealide, so we've shown him eating rice cereal to help you remember that the emetic type produces cerealide toxin. As you can see, he doesn't seem to be enjoying the cereal too much. He's probably allergic to the hemp seeds and wasn't aware of this secret ingredient, which is why he's vomiting now. Poor guy. This is to help you remember that the emetic type causes vomiting. Now that he's vomiting, he realizes that he can't eat any more of this nasty stuff, so you can see him holding up his hand as if refusing more. The five fingers being held up like this should help you remember that the nausea and vomiting typically occur one to five hours after the ingestion of the toxin. Okay, now let's talk about the diarrheal type. We've shown this guy sitting in a puddle of water and holding his belly as if he has belly pain to represent this idea. So puddles of water for watery diarrhea and holding his belly for gastrointestinal pain. If we zoom up on this guy, you can see that he has a badge on his arm that says, I voted. In the United States, we're not allowed to vote until we're 18 years old. So this badge should help you remember the number 18. This is to help you recall that the diarrheal type typically occurs within 8 to 18 hours after the ingestion of the toxin. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's do a question. An 8-year-old boy presents to the emergency department due to 6 hours of nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. He reports eating pasta at an Italian restaurant earlier today. He denies diarrhea, bloody stool, or recent travel. Physical examination reveals diffuse abdominal tenderness to palpation. Which of the following is most likely true regarding this patient's condition? A. It is caused by an ingested pathogen that is actively producing a toxin. B. It is due to a fecalith obstruction. C. It is associated with Henoch Schoenlin purpura. D. Microscopy will reveal non caseating granulomas. Or E. A preformed toxin is responsible. Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this boy has a six-hour history of nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain after eating pasta earlier in the day. This is a classic description of Bacillus cereus related food poisoning. So the correct answer is E. A preformed toxin is responsible. Recall that Bacillus cereus is a spore forming organism that can withstand being cooked in pasta. So if the spores survive cooking and the pasta is left at room temperature, it can germinate and produce a preformed toxin that can cause rapid symptom onset if it's ingested. This is what is meant by a preformed toxin. It has already been produced by the organism, so if ingested, it rapidly produces symptoms. This is why symptoms usually begin one to five hours after the ingestion of the toxin. A is incorrect because organisms that actively produce toxins after ingestion usually don't cause symptoms until 24 hours after the ingestion of the organism. This lag time allows the organism to produce the toxin. Some examples of this include enterotoxigenic E. coli, salmonella, campylobacter, and shigella. So A is incorrect. 
B is incorrect because this is describing appendicitis. Appendicitis typically presents with abdominal tenderness at McBurney's point and positive psoas, obturator, and Rovzing signs on physical examination. C is a reference to intussusception. So, Henoc schonlin purpura is classically associated with intussusception. And intussusception commonly presents with red currant jelly stool. So, C is incorrect. D is describing Crohn disease. This typically presents with diarrhea, as well as many other manifestations, such as malabsorption problems, perianal disease, and dermatologic abnormalities. So, D is incorrect. So, again, the correct answer is E. A preformed toxin is responsible. From the image, recall that the guy with the EMT badge right here represents the emetic type of food poisoning. The bowl of rice cereal represents cerealide toxin, and the guy's five fingers being held up represents that the onset of symptoms is approximately one to five hours after the ingestion of the toxin.